I just feel in general that when a performer has been in touch with the act of putting notes on a page and making those decisions and making the choices, they immediately become better performers. I try to bring it more to an issue of, well, can you clarify in your own mind and in your own ear through a piece the world of sound that you like and that you really love? What happens in these variations is that the, the, just the contour of the theme is used as a way to generate different textures. It is not used in any way that is thematic or melodic. Actually, none of these variations apart from the fourth one really have a melody or theme. They are just different sonorities and different textures and they utilize different sounds of the keyboard and it's really an exploration in color. I decided I wanted to see what would happen if I tried to turn a Bach chorale into a jazz improvisation. I finished it and it sounded jazzy, but then I brought it to class and I realized it wasn't really fitting for the piece and in Dr. Lassard's words it kind of sounded like it was something you'd hear in a bar uptown and that was really not what would be appropriate for this kind of... You know, we spent all these hours in classes analyzing what makes this piece dark, what makes this piece light um, in terms of, you know, all the classical and romantic pieces we play. Um, but I never really thought about what made jazz dark or light, and so it really made me start having to experiment with jazz harmony and to get a dark color with jazz harmony. One of the main things that I think performers bring to composition is a sense of timing. Timing, whether it is a phrase, how long the phrase should be, when has a thought been expressed completely and one should move on. At the end of every one of my semesters, we have a double vision concert called that because the, the students have a performance vision and a composition vision. Uh, and uh, what I find very moving is to see colleagues playing their friends' works, uh, usually putting their heart and soul into the performance of these pieces. Uh, and we are, we are blessed at Juilliard because we have some wonderful performers. And so as a result, these pieces have really often a wonderful birth with, uh, with great performances, very exciting performances uh, of new, new work and uh, to share in the pleasure of writing a work and g getting it to the point at which it is born uh, through performance is a very moving experience for all of us and I think at the end of these concerts we, uh, I feel blessed to be around talented young musicians who, who are writing these pieces very often are delightful, profound, sometimes very moving, uh, and to have them performed so well and so lovingly. It's a very rare, sort of unique uh, ec ecosystem.